2017, people from the from our disability organization is start a community of practice. Our community of practice is made up of Vermont disability organizations. We are passionate about understanding and responding to cultural differences among people with developmental disabilities in their families. Each of us knows we can do better, and this community of practice will give us that chance. This video about what we are doing in, in Kulisin, South Africa City, in our community of practice. As self-advocates, we want people to understand us, and we need to understand them too. This leads to respectful relationships. When thinking about equal rights, we must think about who is representing our needs. Let's ask ourselves. Is our community of practice made up of equal part? Self-advocates, family members, and representatives from disability organizations? It is important to maintain a balance in voices. Self-advocates have a large stake in how organizations representing our interests handle business. Our thoughts and opinions are important. Who knows us better than we know ourselves? Our community of practice is focused on our lives. And what we need is constantly changing. We need to be at the table, face to face, when people are making plans. We are unique. We are not all the same. We need to be included so we can live life in our own way. This is an important opportunity for us to speak up and have people listen. We need to get respect for our right to be the ones who communicate our needs. We, may, we may need support, but give us a chance to be leaders. People often think of diversity as race and gender and religion. Sometimes people miss ability as a part of diversity. Having self-advocates on your COP shows by example how inclusion is done when it comes to cultural and linguistic competence. Let's ask ourselves, why is nothing about us without us such a radical concept? We must challenge ableism. We would not accept a committee of only men making decisions about the lives of women, or a committee of only white people planning for black communities. A COP can become a bridge of understanding between people with disabilities and people without disabilities. When we are working together, we are learning from each other, and we are closer to realizing the goals of our COP. From the beginning, embrace nothing about us without us. Number one, partner with a self-advocacy organization. We will do the work of getting people with disabilities in the room. We can provide expertise on running accessible meetings. We want to explain who we are and what our movement is doing so we can move forward together. Number two, have a conversation about the purpose of your group. Take time to get to know each other. Understand how the issues impact our lives. Depending on what matters, it will guide who will be on the team. 
ask the question, who are we missing from the self-advocacy community? Then ask, what other stakeholders are needed? Number three, be open to include more people as needed and have the getting to know you conversation every time a new person joins the team. The bottom line is self-advocates need to be the founding members of a group. As you plan meetings, keep access and inclusion at the top of your priorities. We need information ahead of time. It should be in plain language. For lengthy documents, give us an executive summary. Offer to meet with us ahead of time. Let us know any questions you might ask during the meeting. It might be hard for some people to quickly come up with answers to even basic questions. Support us to think about what we want to say. Help us understand complex ideas by breaking it down into smaller parts and using concrete examples. During the meeting, speak directly to us, not a support person or companion. Be clear about the purpose of the meeting. Present information in multiple ways. For example, have an agenda available, printed, projected on a screen, and read aloud. Avoid using jargon and acronyms. Allow enough time during meetings to process information. Check in throughout the meeting to make sure everyone knows what is going on. And even when you think you were clear, be open to still checking in with us after a meeting. Find out if we are feeling included and ask what can be done to improve our participation. Finally, please avoid making assumptions about what I can or cannot do. This is our message to make the future better. Incurrents are something that need to come from the heart. When our meetings are inclusive of people with disabilities, it makes the experience better for everyone. Everyone who is there has a richer experience. Everyone who is there has a better meeting. Remember, you are building a partnership toward creating better services for people with disabilities. You will get great ideas. You will get meaningful input and ideas.